This is the Acura MDX in crystal black pearl with a V6 engine, 290 horsepower, and currently gets about 18 miles to the gallon in the city. Hi, I'm Northwestern head football coach Pat Fitzgerald. And I'm head men's basketball coach Chris Collins, and this is Coaches in Cars Getting Coffee. Chris, you know neither of us have time to get coffee. We've got to get back to the office. That's what's so great about our city is people love sports. I mean, that's what I mean. It's, yeah, it's a sports town. Yeah, it's the greatest sports city in the world. It really is. And then to have kids that you're raising. And be you able know, to take them to games and, you know, follow it. My Jack, you know, he's, look at Noah, Dad. He's trying to be a center. He's pretty athletic, Jack. <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> you know, and then they're getting into hockey and Taves and Kane and Who's your favorite player, you know? Yeah, but not only, they, they don't call him that, they know all the nicknames. Well, they you know, know all my of them. Yeah, they're like, buddies. Hey, Dad, did you see what Sharpie did yeah. last night? Who? Yeah. <laughs> Those are my guys. <laughs> but we were the same way as kids. Yeah, for sure. When I was 10 years old, the Bears go to the Super Bowl. And I, I think that's when I really became in love with football. Is, did you, you know, know every word to the Super Bowl shovel? We are the Bears shuffling crew, shuffling yeah. on down, doing it for you. Yeah, I could probably still do it by memorization. Who was your guy in that song? No doubt, Mike Singletary. You know, guy. yeah, because I played linebacker. I played a lot of everything, but at that age, you know, as a kid, you're playing a little bit of everything. But you know, played linebacker, and you know, you always saw the pictures of him in the stands, the and his big eyes, <laughs> yeah. you know. And you know, you know, my dad, and mom would always talk about how they, you know, he's, you know, a great person and a great role model, you know, all those things, and um, you know, he made so many plays and. You know, and he'd talk, and he talked about how he studied the game. Some pretty good players, and, and yeah, when we were on growing up, you know, yeah, but we're city. growing up. Just think about <laughs> yeah. it. I mean, Jeez. yeah, I mean, the Sox were pretty good then too. They won. Even I the think, Cubs had a couple decent. I mean, Sutcliffe and Jody, yeah, Jody, Sutcliffe. Jody Davis, right? All <laughs> yeah. those guys, right? I mean, they were Andre Dawson. How the could Hawk. you not love Andre Dawson? The Hawk. I wore number eight, and the eight and seventy-two, eight for the, Hawk the and the seventy-two for. For Fisk. Would he come out to right? Yeah, Fisk was my grade school football or football number when I was an old lineman. Why are you wearing 72? Carlton Fisk? It was crazy because, I, I mean, I didn't move to Chicago until I was like 13, but one of the reasons I became a Cubs fan is because they always played day games. And as On a kid, WGN, right? And it was a national station. Yeah, right. So those that was the team I saw. For me, I was so fired up. I moved to Chicago. We lived in Arizona at the time, which is a great place, but... The kids were all into like skateboarding. Yeah, right. Like, a little BMX just different. Bike, right. You know, just, different. Yeah. And I wanted to play hoops. And right. Baseball, you know. So my dad came home and said, you know, we're going, we're going to Chicago. I was so fired up because, man, you know, just the Cubs and the Bulls and the White Sox and the Bears. And yep. You felt like you were going to just like a sports, a sports city. I had a. Pretty cool summer gig. I did security on a rooftop. Did you really? Yeah. Oh, what a blast. That was a good time for about 25 games. I can't say that it was security. I just checked the people's tickets to make sure the tra out. trash was taken out. <laughs> but that was a cool experience playing here a couple years ago. I mean, that was, uh, we didn't get the outcome we wanted, but uh, to play. I'll tell you what, if the Cubs ever do win. Oh, forget about it. Oh, my God. Yeah, forget It'd be about it. pretty crazy around here. Well, Hopefully it's going to happen. Our lifetime. In our lifetime, we're going to see a Cubs Sox World Series. It's going to happen.